What's going on guys and welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings franchise series week 13 of season 5 and the Vikings are facing some tough times right now at 4 and 7 now third place in the NFC North and riding a three game losing streak the Vikings can't afford to keep losing obviously this losing streak cannot continue and this week they play against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the defending Super Bowl champions from season 4 with one of the best front fours in this entire series right now and we have one of the most struggling offensive lines other than Nate Potter it's been a lot of question marks on this line and so heading out to Raymond James Stadium hoping to end this three game losing streak as Ponder looks across at Josh Freeman we get into the action here it's the first quarter Christian Ponder under center back to throw a good pocket but he's going to take off and throw on the run to Larry Fitzgerald for the first down and I was moving with Ponder in the pocket because I wasn't sure if Adrian's going to be able to pick up the blitzer or the rusher and so Ponder now this is what we had to avoid Gerald McCoy I mean there's some strong defensive tackles that have been relentless against Against us. Gerald McCoy and Nick Fairley have put Ponder down many times and now we're going long looking for Mark Harrison and we're not going to get the first down on third and forever and so Buccaneers get the football Josh Freeman in the pocket plenty of time to throw we can't get any pass rush hits Mike Williams close to a first down about nine and a half yards they would convert on their next play second down and nine Freeman setting up screen pass for Doug Martin and he's going to get close to the first down again tackled by Jared Allen after a gain of seven and so can the Vikings force a stop on third and short pitch out the Doolittle and he's going to be wrapped up by Adrian Wilson no chance there loss of five and they're not going to punt they bring out the field goal unit and look at this kick just a rocket that one's gonna stay inside and it is far enough and so three nothing Tampa Bay Vikings with the football for the second time now pondering the pocket over the middle Andrew Corliss line doing a good job so far against this tough front four of Tampa Bay but third down and one can the Vikings get a conversion Ponder doesn't want to stretch a field too much as he waits now wants to take off he'll get the first down himself and then he takes a hit should have slid there Christian eight yards on the run and so on first and ten back out of the shotgun and we're going deep we got Jamal as Logan, yes, we make the catch inside the 20-yard line. The deep ball has not been working for Christian Ponder as of late, and it pays off this time. First and goal, Ponder, he wants to go outside. Andrew Corliss close to the goal line, tackled at the two. Couldn't get any forward progress after making the catch. And so second and goal, handoff to Adrian Peterson, and he stops short of the goal line. But he gets us to the one, and then we're going to hand the ball off to Toby Gerhardt. Can our power back get it in the end zone? No. Tampa Bay stops him. It's a goal line stand. We kick our field goal, take the three points. It's tied up at three to begin the second quarter now. Josh Freeman over the middle to Danny Cole for a first down. As Tampa Bay avoids going three and out on this drive, second down and nine, and Freeman back to throw once more. Doug Morton couldn't pick up the pressure, but he gets the pass off anyways to Haywood, but he can't hang on, so it forces another third down situation. Out of the shotgun, Martin to his left. He goes out for a pass, and Blitz was incoming, and the pass to the outside is going to be incomplete had his foot on the white line and so some issues there with receivers on the last two plays for Tampa Bay Vikings football now and when's the last time we had Adrian Peterson really going his offensive line has really slowed down after Adrian had a hot start to the year hasn't been that pretty and neither is Christian Ponder almost getting sacked but he stays on his feet and he hooks up with Larry Fitzgerald that's what you have to do Christian extend the play you're not Ben Roethlisberger but that was a good effort on first and ten Ponder in the pocket and Gerald McCoy meets Christian Ponder for the second time in this game Third and 11. Can Ponder keep this drive alive from the Tampa Bay 46? Dumps off to Jamez Logan. I was counting on him getting past the first guy. Hopefully that didn't happen. And so we send out our field goal kicker who has a rocket for a leg as well. Sebastian Janikowski. It's good. Three, no, six to three Vikings. They take the lead on a pair of field goals from Sebastian here in the first half. Josh Freeman now off the play action. Goes outside the Doug Martin who breaks the tackle. Chad Greenway can't bring him down, but he does shove him out of bounds. And so second and one comes up. Freeman fakes the handoff to Doug Martin and then dumps it off to him out of the backfield. He's going to break Keystone Terry's tackle and it takes two Vikings to take him down. Doug Martin showing some strength here in the passing game as well off the receptions. And so third and eight going deep. Keystone Terry almost gets that interception. And we had an injury on that drive as well for our starting defense with TJ Stripling breaking his collarbone. Not good news. But we have solid depth at linebacker, I believe. At least some quality fill-in players. And we can't get the running game going with Adrian Peterson. Not surprised against this front seven of Tampa Bay third and four ponder hooks up Jamez Logan at the 40 yard line that's a first down for Minnesota nice route in the line giving good protection for Christian Ponder here in the first half much better I would have to say so ponder on first and 10 over the middle Percy Harvin 
Vikings stringing together some pass plays here and not relying on third down conversions to keep drives moving. And then going outside, Larry Fitzgerald can't hang on to that catch. What with the Vikings in pretty much chip shot field goal range. But now they got to get some yards on this play to make it easier for Sebastian. We're going to go to the end zone. Harrison, no, it's knocked away. Could have come up with a diving catch. And so now Sebastian Janikowski for the 61-yard field goal. And it is off the crossbar. Vikings will get no more points in the first half. 6-3 to three to go to the third quarter now with Tampa Bay on offense. Second and nine. Freeman over the middle. That's Aurelius Ben coming over the 40-yard line. Moving the chains for the Buccaneers. Second down and eight. Vikings still not setting too much pressure. And Freeman standing strong in the pocket. Going long and picked off. Adrian Wilson inside the 20-yard line as the Vikings force a turnover. Put the ball into the hands of Christian Ponder now and try to get some momentum here in the second half. On second down and 12. Ponder under pressure. Barely gets a throw off to Jamez Logan. It is complete. He gets it to third down and four. Ponder's going to throw again. Looking for a conversion and waiting too long to throw the ball and sacked by Joe McCoy for the third time. So he punt the ball away now. Chris Cluey and it's going to be fielded at about the 43 yard line. We don't want to give him too good a field position but he's already in Minnesota territory. Runs over a defender and then a face mask penalty to top it all off. And so they're going to get field position inside a field goal range with a 15 yard face mask on Christian Jones. Second down and five. Freeman, he wants Aurelius Ben short of the first down marker. They'll force third and two. The Vikings could hold him to a field goal on this drive. Best case scenario. They give the ball to Doug Martin. Goes to the left side. First down. Bucks inside the five-yard line. Runs over defender. And the fumble is forced inside the two-yard line. Picked up by Lewis Nix the third. An incredibly clutch strip by Jelani Jenkins filling in for TJ Stripling. Although it would have fit better if Stripling had the strip. We look at this replay here. Runs over Keystone Terry like a freight train. And then Jelani Jenkins. Thank you very much. Minnesota football now, first and 10, play action ponder. Going outside, wide open is Jimmy Klein Saucer. The green in front of him was closed up pretty quickly as he gets seven yards on the completion. Third and two, trying to run the ball, get the first down. Toby Gearhart and first man meets him, puts him down, Gerald McCoy. So the Bucks get the ball now. No harm done after the turnover other than not getting a touchdown. And Freeman wants to take off. Diving and then he's tackled by Morris Claiborne for the first down. And then Jelani Jenkins had suffered a concussion. And so we're down to our third outside linebacker there. And we got to start controlling Doug Morton a little bit better. We did force the fumble. Can't count on that every time though. They're in Minnesota territory. Third and seven. Could hold them here and make a big stop. Freeman back to throw outside. Knocked away. Nice pass defense. Vikings hold the Bucks and they punt the football so run the ball Adrian Peterson going outside but not too far outside bottled up after a gain of one Vince Brown is a monster in this series third and nine ponder out of the gun and the pressure is going to get to him quickly now has to dump it off to McCluster really his only option and he goes out of bounds after like a gain of two and so the Vikings now punting it away and it it's still six to three a low scoring affair referee get out of the way it's fielded and then Bletchen is going to end up being stripped at the 36 yard line and the Vikings can't get this one the Buccaneers dodge a cannonball with that one and so hand the ball off Doug Martin looking for first down and much more across the 50 yard line tackled after a big gain at the to the Minnesota 47 they want to do play action now good mix with a solid running game and then Freeman he wants to go deep and how's it don't you mean curse catch that in between Keystone Terry in between two defenders touchdown that's the, that's the way the first touchdown went down in this game a defensive game has had a touchdown like that and so now the Vikings are forced to answer here in the second half with their deficit of four points Kyle Rudolph gets a catch making it close to a first down but the Vikings have to keep converting over the middle Jamez Logan it's short but it moves the chains I'll take our five yard gain I'll dink and dunk my way to the red zone hopefully first and ten ponder outside Kyle Rudolph is going to get the first down now as we're edging towards Buccaneer territory we have over seven minutes to go under seven minutes now and on first and ten ponder in the pocket and he's going to hit Jamez Logan over the middle the Vikings keep moving the chains good job here from Christian ponder finding the open receivers third and six though ponder pump fakes goes outside Percy Harvin executed perfectly just across the first down marker nice route now second and three hand the ball off to Toby Gearhart we actually do get a running conversion this time might have been one of our first of the game and then out of the new set of downs again ponder to throw on first down pumps and now wants to escape goes outside and out of bounds was Mark Harrison as the referee comes over and signals that he was not in bounds so on third and five free rusher coming from the right side and ponder going end zone touchdown Jamez Logan but a flag on the play holding on Tyler Riley. Are you kidding me? 
that wipes out the Vikings first touchdown on the day and on third and 15 ponder pressure and there is the incompletion after being hit and so we send out Sebastian Janikowski for the 44 yard field goal with 12 mile an hour wind at his back to make it a one point ball game with 330 to go and the Vikings will get the field goal 9 to 10 now have to get a safety or a field goal to get the victory here but well, they have to stop Doug Martin in this running game first we know they're going to run the ball and on second and five we do stop them it's going to be third and three coming up if we hold them here we could have the whole two minute warning and a lot of time to get our three points but we have Doug Martin getting the first down and so now we have to burn our timeouts now the two minute warning hits and it's second and down 11 pitch out Doug Martin breaks a tackle and he's tough to bring down Sharice Wright finally does it though and so on third and ten Vikings just cannot give up a big play handoff Doug Martin right side room but he gets closed down and he gets seven yards so no first down Vikings get the football now they're punting it away Mark Harrison at the 13 yard line trying to set the Vikings up here with under a minute to go and one timeout for a solid run at winning this game Game and a flag on the play what do you know who was it this time personal foul clipping on the receiving team and they call it on to Sharvin Bell so the Vikings hit the ball at the 12 yard line now with one timeout Ponder has to get some big plays and there's Jamez Logan that's what we need right there about 20 yards 18 on that catch and so that's what we needed right there on some hurry up offense now Ponder with McCluster to his right as Ponder takes a snap now just over 30 seconds to go Ponder rolling to his right and now even an absolute missile deep to the end zone overthrows Larry Fitzgerald that one could have been the game winner right there but Ponder on third and ten now needs the conversion and he's gonna step up and he's hit incomplete pass fourth down and ten the Vikings season could ride on this play right here Christian Ponder out the shotgun Adrian Peterson to his left now he's gonna have Kyle Rudolph blocking and Ponder going outside it's Percy Harvin dropping the football and the Vikings turn the ball over on downs and that is gonna be their fourth consecutive loss their eighth on the season the Vikings can't afford to lose one more game they are now mathematically eliminated from being the NFC North champions and they have to rely on winning a wild card spot. And so in this game, Christian Ponder, 209 yards. And for the most part in the first half, the offensive line did well. Down the stretch, though, they got tired in that defensive front four. Finally got after Christian Ponder. Jamez Logan, 109 yards receiving. And Larry Fitzgerald almost had a couple big plays in this ball game. But the Vikings, they take on the Chicago Bears next week. It's do or die. No more losing for Minnesota. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.